Good day. Uh, I'm Professor Steve Olivia, Principal and Vice Chancellor of Robert Gordon University, um, and I'd like to welcome you to our summer graduation 2021. It is, of course, a virtual ceremony, which is unfortunate. We would certainly have preferred it uh, to be physical and in-person, but I'm afraid it's just not possible. Nevertheless, I'm really keen to congratulate you and to welcome you to what is a fantastic day. Um, at ceremonies throughout the world this year, uh, there will be words used such as extraordinary, unprecedented, we become familiar with all of those, and of course it has indeed been that sort of year. In many ways though, uh, university staff and students have proceeded as normal in terms of assessments. You've learned, you've sat your assessments, and you've passed, so well done. However, we continue to be challenged, both as staff, students, and as society. And these challenges have not just been severe, but they've been prolonged, and they're still ongoing, even though there is some light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so, while it's been, uh, in one way, a normal year, it's been difficult, but you have done exceptionally well. So, congratulations and well done. So, I, all of our staff, the people who have supported you, your family, friends, salute you. It's your hard work and your determination that has seen you through this year, to the point where you can proudly say that you've graduated from the Scottish University of the Year. So again, well done. It's not, however, just an occasion to congratulate you, but to thank you. You've given us feedback. You've helped us to improve. And ultimately, what you will have done is to help us to emerge stronger from this as well. You've helped to shape the student experience, to refine it, and improvement. And that's what we're all about, constant improvement. The result, of course, is that your university has one of the highest levels of student satisfaction in Scotland and in the UK, and also an outstanding re reputation for graduate employability. So you've gained knowledge while studying at RGU, but knowledge is provisional. It changes constantly. What I hope won't change is your pursuit of it, of new knowledge, your relentless pursuit of it. We've taught you the skills to question question what you learn, to seek answers, but then to move on to find the next questions as well. It's more than just a practice. It's an attitude. It's a state of mind. And we taught you to adopt it, want you to continue using it. And if you do that, you'll be an incredibly valuable as asset to people that you work with or uh, those around you if you're self-employed. Above all, I'd like to leave you with one message, and that it would be to develop nurture and use what I call the curiosity imperative. So ask questions, answer them, improve whatever you're doing, in whatever you're doing. I would, uh, however, like to spare a thought as you graduate for those who have helped you along the way. Um, why not go a step further than just sparing them a thought, though? Contact them, say thank you to them in whatever means you use. Um, However you wish to do it, show your gratitude. I would urge you to do that. Spread a little bit of courtesy and kindness. Uh, and kindness is important in what has, of course, been an extraordinary year. Before I finish, I'd like to pay sincere and deep tribute to our university chancellor, Sir Ian Wood. This will be his last graduation as the titular head of the institution. Throughout his time as chancellor, Sir Ian has conferred thousands of degrees upon our students as well as many honorary graduates. He has been a pivotal figure in RGU initiatives and projects. His guidance and support over the past 16 years have been invaluable to RGU, and we owe him a sincere debt of gratitude for everything he's done for the university. So this marks the end of a remarkable era, but we very much hope that Sir Ian will remain a close friend of, the, of RGU, of our community of staff, students, and alumni. And we now look forward to the future with Dame Evelyn Glennie as our new Chancellor, but with one eye on the past and the lessons that have been learned with Sir Ian at the helm. So with some light at the end of the tunnel for this year, as you embark on the next chapter in your lives, I would once again like to wish you all the very, very best and congratulations for what you have achieved. Thank you and all the best for the future. On behalf of all students, it's our great honour to congratulate the class of 2021. We'd like to thank the Chancellor, the Principal, Board of Governors, Academic Council, Senior University Management and all members of staff at RGU. 
who have guided us through our most challenging times at university and who have adapted in the most inspiring ways to support and enhance our student experience. To our families and friends, we thank you also. We thank you for your love and support. We just could not have done it without you. Today is indeed a remarkable day because it's a day of reflection, reflection of your journey, the challenges, the hurdles, the successes, and of course, what you have achieved today. So please never underestimate the challenges you have overcome and what you're capable of achieving in the future. It is true that these uncertain times have appeared unexpectedly and tried to derail your achievements, but your resilience, your attitude, and the audacity to have hope in such a trying time is what every one of you will and should be remembered for. So dear class of 2021, it is an absolute honor to congratulate you today. I understand the hurdles that you've had to jump, the sleepless nights, the tireless hours spent on coursework and assessments while surviving a global pandemic. All that doesn't matter now. What matters is that you've made it and you're here. Although we have thanked many people today, it's important that as individuals you take a moment to look back with pride on what you have achieved and to realise that you have reached the end of your journey thanks to your dedication and effort throughout your time at RGU. I want to wish you the best of luck for the future. Please dream big and remember what's meant to be won't pass you by. So believe in yourself, challenge your goals and take a moment to reflect on what you've achieved so far. You'll always have a home here at RGU, so please never be a stranger. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2021. My name is Stephen Vertigans and I am the head of the School of Applied Social Studies. On behalf of the school, I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge your success in graduating in 2021 during what's become rather loosely described as a challenging period. Indeed, throughout your time here, there will have been a plethora of challenges, academic, personal and societal. Hopefully the range of your experiences across the whole period of studying mean that overall you have found your time with us to be stimulating, rewarding and on occasion enjoyable. While trying to recognise how much of your period of study preceded the pandemic, the last year or so will understandably feature prominently in your current reflections of studying with the university. This period has shown how many of the issues and values we expound within our courses are arguably even more pertinent today than they were at the start of your studies. Historically, national and global epidemics and pandemics have often led to wide ranging fundamental changes in areas such as food and water distribution, welfare provision and urban infrastructures. These periods have been instrumental in shaping our towns and cities and which continue to resonate, such as when wealthier areas were created to reduce exposure of the rich to diseases associated with poorer locations. While these areas may have shifted, such demarcations remain with levels of risk in exposure to COVID-19 been markedly different for those living in densely populated accommodation and those living in more spatial neighbourhoods. Hence the inequitable patterns of COVID-19 morbidity and mortality rates between different socio-economic and ethnic groups and within and between nation states have highlighted disparate levels of poverty and vulnerabilities. Against this current local, national and international backdrop, the recent unprecedented challenges you have overcome have shown levels of creativity and resilience that you may not have known you had and which will stand you in good stead whatever you go on to achieve with your lives. Whether you are a social scientist or social worker, you are graduating at a time when your knowledge your ways of thinking and your values are particularly important if there are to be meaningful social, economic, political and environmental improvements throughout people's lives. Therefore, Chancellor, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the graduates of the School of Applied Social Studies 
and I ask that you confer the following awards of the university on them. John Alexander Buchan, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Federica Finocchiaro, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Stacy Fitzpatrick, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Ruth Elizabeth Griffiths, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Rhiannon Mary Lucas Thompson, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Grant Joseph McMaster, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Natalie Madeline Okren Edmund, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Claudio Ruiz Spon, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Christy Rita Sandbergen, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Kerry Louise Stewart, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Sakina Zura Vivas, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Amon Walls, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Gathelen Wolf, Master of Science Applied Psychology. Omojo Abil Adukwu, Master of Science Social Work. Bose Ajiraya, Master of Science Social Work. I'd like to express my sincere appreciation to my family, friends, and colleagues for their massive support during my course of study. Thank you. Deborah Aslanaglu, Master of Science Social Work. Charlene Allison Chalmers, Master of Science Social Work. Renee DeVork, Master of Science Social Work. Rachel Doherty, Master of Science Social Work. Christine Efima OG, Master of Science Social Work. Ashia Jemima Ona, Master of Science Social Work. Laura Oveha Fern Endes, Master of Science Social Work. Robert Campbell Paget, Master of Science Social Work. Elsa Patterson. Master of Science Social Work. Carol Devitt. Postgraduate Diploma Social Work. Alicia Wiklinska. Postgraduate Diploma Social Work. Melanie Kavanagh. Postgraduate Certificate Applied Psychology. Jonathan Walker. Postgraduate Certificate Applied Psychology. Michael James Hogan, Postgraduate Certificate Mental Health Officer Award. Timothy Okpanachi Abalaka, Postgraduate Certificate Researcher Development. Fiona Claire O'Dowd, Postgraduate Certificate Social Studies. Ronald John Boyle, Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. Janine Cato, Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. Lisa Marie Gordon, Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. Karen Louise Irvin, Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. Gemma Kapushiak. Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. Julie McCallum. Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. Lorraine McGonigal. Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. Ryan James Murray. Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. 
Sarah Margaret Smith. Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. Kirsty and Wallace. Graduate Certificate Practice Learning Qualification, Social Services. Niall Lewis Alexander. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. David Robert Anderson. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Louise Alex Andrew. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Ewan Benzi. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Louis Maria Berger. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Lois Catherine May Brown. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Elizabeth Bucken. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Doria Bias. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Alana Simone Cameron. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Rachel Clark. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Katie Nicole Coyle. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Ellen Mary Ferry. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Mariana Fickrey. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Ben Fuller. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Rebecca Gray. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Amy Inglis. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Congratulations everybody and happy graduation. I hope you all have a really good time celebrating. Bronwyn and Jeffrey. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Teodora Maximova Josefova. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Milena Kader. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Eric Christy N. Calm R. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Erian Alice Kelly. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Charlotte Rachel Kinnear. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Ross Douglas Lavin. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Morgan Colin Lennon. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Emma Claire McEwen. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Catherine McLeod. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Leah Mari McLeod. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Lee Jade McRitchie. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Erian Alexandra Milne. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Miriam Nadine. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Ellen Oldman. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Kara Millie Riki. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. George Trinanes Reed. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Shannon May Rearch. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Audrey Ribs. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Bryce Riddell. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Chloe Elizabeth Sanderson. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honours. Lauren Shaw. 
Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Ellie Siobhan Simpson. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Leah Mary Louise Smith. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Megan Sutherland. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Ryan Swan. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Shannon Kate Thompson. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Lindsay Turnbull. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Liga Valentinas. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Ross Thompson Walker. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Alexandra Morgan Ward. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Daniel Watson. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Evangeline Edith Fazy Wharton. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Gemini Primus Williams Lappy. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Ingrid Willemson. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Chloe and Wilson. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Danielle Wood. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences Honors. Murray Allen. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Patience Antwi. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Thank you, thank you, thank you everyone who supported me through RGU and my university years. I'm so excited. I'm a graduate now. We did it. Woo! Sarah Burkett. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Emma My Christie. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Ellie Margaret Cowell. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Lucy Elizabeth Cooper White. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Abby Cowie. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Edward Cox. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Ila Katrina Crab. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Emma Crawford. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Angela Davidson. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Eve Davidson. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Siobhan Davies. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Felicity Claire Edmondson. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Joanne Sandra Elliott. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Shonam Kinley Firth. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors. Catherine Elizabeth Foreman. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honors my little graduation cap and it says grow through what you go through and this is something that I've had experience through my life and I'll be helping others throughout their life to grow through what they experience too. Libby Fox. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Amy Debbie Gartley. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Giuseppe Gervossi. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Laura and Gilmore. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Erin Margaret Gordon. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Brooke Grant. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Shannon Faye Green. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. 
Chloe Grigsby. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Declan Hall. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Katie Louise Hay. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Catherine Henderson. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Chloe Hewittson. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Carla Hume. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Heather Innes. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Harriet Lake. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Kayla Landale. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Laura McIntosh. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Rachel McKeever. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Claire Marshall. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Vicky Elizabeth Catherine Marshall. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Sean Del McCabe. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Rosalind McIntosh. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Jenna Catherine McRory. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Shanna Helen Muir. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Emma Munro. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Preslava Yordanova Nikiva. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Felicita Margot Obi. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Lisa Porter. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Craig Rattray. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Tracy Jane Reed. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Amber Louise Salter. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Ashley Rose Sparks. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Leah Stewart. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Amy Joanna Sutherland. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Eve Elizabeth Sutherland. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Gwen Wakeling. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Nikita Webster. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Demily Jessica Whiteford. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Alana Corzette Williams. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Sophie Louise Jane Young. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Bachelor of Arts Social Work Honours. Rina Garrick Henderson. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Mohamed Ramiz Hussein. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Sundesh Kanal. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Liam Lindsay. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Loe Donna Marinella Rusu. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Amber Katie Thau. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Sciences. 
Carmen Hanley. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Studies. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Studies. Sarah Louise Stewart. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Studies. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Studies. Chloe Taylor. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Studies. Bachelor of Arts Applied Social Studies. Elizabeth Grace Patterson. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Sciences. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Sciences. Sean Wilson. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Sciences. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Sciences. Connor Gordon. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Studies. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Studies. Rona Evelyn McGibbon. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Studies. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Studies. Cherry Thompson. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Studies. Diploma of Higher Education Applied Social Studies. Amy McDonald. Certificate of Higher Education Applied Social Sciences. Certificate of Higher Education Applied Social Sciences. Duncan Peter Thomas Smith. Certificate of Higher Education Applied Social Studies. Certificate of Higher Education Applied Social Studies. First of all, I need to tell you this will be my last graduation speech as your Chancellor. I've very much enjoyed the role for 17 years and particularly graduating over 25,000 students, which seems an awful lot, and having the opportunity to talk to you all. On a broader front, I've also thoroughly enjoyed my contact and involvement with the University, having worked with five principals over that period of time. The university has changed hugely. We now have one of the finest campuses in Scotland. We've developed to become one of the top one of, of the top one or two new universities in Scotland, and there's been significant positive evolution in the number of courses now on offer, with of course a focus on environment and the new energies. Aberdeen itself has changed substantially. Oil and gas was very dominant when I became Chancellor in 2004 and it has continued to serve the northeast of Scotland well, but is now clearly beginning to show signs of depletion with the new energies on and offshore wind, hydrogen, and carbon capture and storage now coming to the fore. I very much enjoyed meeting and spending some time with our honorary graduates, people like Terry Waite, Sir Ronald Fiennes, Dennis Law, Dame Kathleen Granger, Nicola Benedetti, Rachel Corsi, Stuart McBride and Dame Evelyn Glenny, among many others, which we are now proud to have as our honorary graduates. And we've had many VIP visits during my time, among the recent ones, the opening of the Sir Ian Wood Building by Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal in 2015, Prince Harry's visit in 2016 to learn more about street sport, and the President of Mexico's visit in 2017 to learn more about RGU's work with the energy sector. During the 17 years, RGU has received many awards and accolades. A gold rating in the Teaching Excellence Framework, placing us in the top 20% of the best universities in the UK for the quality of our undergraduate teaching and learning. We've been awarded the best modern university in the UK. We've consistently been near the top of the graduate employment record across the UK. We've been at the forefront of introducing graduate apprenticeships and startup Innovation Accelerator, and now we have our own Energy Transition Institute. RGU was involved in the launch of the National Subsea Centre in 2020, and right up to date, RGU was named um, Scottish University of the Year by the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide. I'm also delighted that I'm being succeeded as Chancellor by Dame Evelyn Glenny. 
I've known her for a long time. She's a great lady, uh, and I know she'll, um, as well as being a, a great world-class percussionist, I know she'll be an extremely able and um, valuable chancellor. So, to your graduation. My warmest congratulations to all of you for successfully graduating in what has been a surreal and exceptionally difficult period, both for you and for the university. Please don't in any way let that detract from your achievements on this proud and exciting Red Letter Day. We're recognising the huge amount of work you've done, you've all done to get your degrees. Many congratulations to you all and to the many proud mums and dads, families and friends out there proudly helping celebrate your success. I've always included in my speech some general advice intended to help you as you chart your career and your life ahead. And I feel this final speech shouldn't be an exception. So firstly, in this incredible challenge of change world, you must be constantly proactive to new approaches and ideas. Completely out of the blue and hopefully coming to an end is the huge COVID-19 pandemic challenge. I certainly hope the biggest health challenge that your generation will face. Certainly it's by far the biggest one that my generation has faced. Secondly, we have the transformational impact of digital technology, which is changing so many aspects of our lives. If continuous change and improvement are not at the forefront of your thinking, frankly, you're almost certainly going backwards. Standing still equals complacency, which is a bad destination and a real danger to you not realizing your potential. Thirdly, don't assume it's a fair world out there. Bill Gates speaks of 11 life unfairness rules, which should be compulsory for young people. Just one example, rule number 10, be nice to nerds. Chances are you'll end up working for one. So don't get indignant. Don't lose the place when you come up against the world's injustices, of which there are many. Be pragmatic, plan and work your way through the real world as it is, warts and all. Don't waste your time recriminating on the what ifs of the past. Concentrate on the what ifs of the future as you work your way towards realizing your full potential. Fourthly, don't be a spectator. Most of the things that have gone wrong in this world have gone wrong because good people stood by and let them happen. The great explorer, Ernest Shackleton, defined optimism as moral courage. I urge you to be morally courageous. Be a maker, be a doer, be a creator, or whatever. Don't just sit back and criticize, because that's far too easily, and frankly, should be way beneath you. As from today, you are no longer a spectator. You have graduated into the real world and are now endorsed and engaged as a player. There's a very wise saying, inside many an old person is a young person asking what happened. What have I done with my life? Don't be that person. Fifthly, don't be afraid to make mistakes and don't fear failure. I've lost count of the number of mistakes I've made in my business career. The key thing is to recognize them quickly and rectify them. Don't ever hide from your mistakes. You'll just compound them. Some failure in life is inevitable unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. Sixthly, think global. Some of the biggest problems we are currently facing in our country, the economic financial challenges, COVID-19, the availability of energy, climate change, and the threat of terrorism, these are all global and need global solutions. And Scotland, or whatever country you come from, is not the centre of the world. Our world has no centre. It's a matrix of countries, religions, ethnic groups and cultures. Seventhly, although global business is highly competitive, you absolutely don't need to compromise on your principles and ethics. Ethical business practice and corporate social responsibility is a key part of Robert Gordon University. Don't ever in business sacrifice your self-respect or your integrity. Penultimately, when you've chosen, go for it. Don't ever underestimate your own potential. It's incredible what the human spirit can do if you really believe in yourself and set your sights high. Right now you're focused on getting a good job and taking the next step in your life. But each of you should have a dream 
based on ambitious goals well in excess of your reasonable expectations, really challenge your aspiration and don't let cannot dominate your vocabulary. I was Wood Group's first employee in the oil and gas industry in 1970. I set off with energy and zeal, but frankly not at all sure where I was going or how I might get there. When I retired from Wood Group now nine years ago, it employed 43,000 people working in 50 countries around the world. You can climb mountains and cross wide seas. And finally, in this very troubled world, be responsible, caring and tolerant. Our planet and its different inhabitants, whether God or science made, is truly an incredible miracle. If you have any doubt, just watch a David Attenborough Blue Planet series or the Brian Cox Planet programs. The truth is we are unbelievably privileged to have time here. What is quite unforgivable is that our lack of tolerance of race and creed and our inability to balance wealth and well-being are abusing that privilege and possibly irretrievably damaging our ecosystem and our children's future. Different religions, races and cultures must be prepared to live together and support each other in a generally more caring and tolerant society. And lastly, I'm going to tell you something you may not want to hear. In the context of the global world we live in, you are very privileged. Your intelligence, your talents, your capacity for hard work, the excellent education you've earned and received gives you unique status and unique responsibilities. To whom much is given, much is expected. And the way you live your lives, the values you adopt, the example you set, all will have an impact way beyond your borders. With privilege comes responsibility, and I urge you to discharge it altruistically and caringly. If you choose to use your status and influence to raise your voice on behalf of those who don't have a voice, if you choose to identify not only with the powerful, but also with the powerless, if you retain the ability to imagine yourself into the lives of those who don't have, who don't have your advantages, then you could achieve great things with the power to change our world for the better. Once again, we're really sorry you've been unable to enjoy a normal graduation experience, but don't underestimate the importance of this day. This is your day, a very important day in your lives, and the opportunity is now open to you. Please enjoy a well-earned celebration with your family and friends, and let my final words as Chancellor be to tell you, you are the future, and I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you very much.